streamlining of public transport. Our sector, it's a sector that plays a vital role in the creation of wealth. Hundreds of our youths are dependent on the sector for their daily livelihoods. Since the sector has been identified as a key source of wealth and prosperity, I have appointed a task force to consider, among other things, the operational challenges faced by the sector and recommend suitable remedies for immediate action. The task force chaired by the county secretary shall have membership from the public, transport and security sectors, among others. As we await appropriate recommendations, I have authorized and directed a 100% waiver of all unpaid parking charges for the period running up to August 2022, which, ladies and gentlemen, amounts to 142 million shillings. This intervention, I have no doubt, will afford the sector an opportunity to recover and engage further with my government. But going forward past September 1, then I hope everybody will be making their payments on time. A revenue mobilization, in order to upscale the level of my government services to all the residents, I have put in motion measures geared towards the identification of new revenue streams and the revamping of the known sources. This exercise must be undertaken by dedicated and motivated teams. However, in carrying out their responsibilities, the teams must be orderly, respectful, and above suspicion. Our stakeholders must be appreciated for their unwavering support and their continued commitment to honor their tax obligations to the county government. To achieve our revenue target goals, I have approved a total overhaul of the revenue department. This is to include, but not limited to, one, redeployment and reshuffling of all revenue clerks and officers, and appointment of new revenue heads. Other interventions aimed at revitalizing small-scale businesses to be announced in due course. Public service. My government is keen on ensuring the entire public service is staffed with skilled and motivated members of staff. With a functional public service, I entertain no doubt that the people of Nakuru stand to reap huge dividends in terms of quality, timely, and efficient delivery of services. In order to achieve these goals, I shall be announcing key changes to the existing administrative structures. The human resources function must be restructured to be responsive to the needs of our workforce. I am keen to re-evaluate the existing policies on hiring, retention, and promotion of staff members. A sanction and reward system must urgently be implemented to reward hardworking staff, members, and sanction those members who continue to draw public resources without commensurate work input. Our payroll must be cleansed of all ghost workers, a necessary burden of seconded staff from the national government, illegally hired staff and promoted members of staff. I believe our strong county workforce of over 6,000 workers has all the requisite skills required by the county.